Hi guys, I'm Jamie Christine and I am an artist in the Grand Valley and I wanted to take you today into one of my art shows instead of taking you into my studio because I am an artist that works in chaos. So my art studio is an absolute mess and that's kind of how I like it. So instead of cleaning it up to show you guys, I'm just gonna leave it how it is. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about my process, what I do, why I make art, um, how I started, all of those things. So basically I graduated from CMU in 2018 with a studio art degree. And while I was there, I got really into printmaking. And so that was kind of my focus while I was there. And as I was doing that, I was trying to think of ways to be original and make something that uh, everybody hadn't made. And so with that, I did kind of some online research of mediums that I liked and art forms that I liked. And I really found myself falling in love with fluid painting and epoxy art. And so while I was in college, I started to experiment with those and kind of changed the curriculum of what I was doing. Um, to where I was printing on top of fluid paintings or printing on top of epoxy paintings instead of just printing on paper and the, the standard things that you generally do. And so with that, I found myself really falling in love with printed epoxies. And so the show that I'm going to show you in Kiln Coffee Bar is all screen printed pictures and epoxy. And with those, I have found that layering them gives a really cool effect. So I have basically worked for the last few months just printing photos on top of each other and putting epoxy in between the layers to really separate them. And the reason I found myself doing this art form is because I kind of wanted to explore the way your mind works. And so with that, I wanted to show like how your brain can think of multiple images at once and all be on top of each other and have this kind of chaos that goes on in your mind and capture that on paper. And so I took some images that I thought depicted emotions that I feel or images that I um, kind of resonate on and have used those in those art forms. Uh, I also teach fluid paintings. I don't have any fluid paintings up in Kiln right now, um, but you can check out my website at jamiechristineartist.com if you want to check those out. And I also teach workshops for fluid paintings primarily, but I am getting into um, teaching some like epoxy coating and coasters and um, so on and so forth. So you can do some little DIYs for your house. And so if you're interested in those, also send me a message and we're gonna go show you the show with all social distancing measures in place. So bear with us. All right guys, here is the kiln coffee bar that is hanging through the end of the week. By the time you guys see this video, it will no longer be up, but you will see these pieces hanging somewhere else in town shortly. I am very excited about these pieces because they are kind of a new direction for me as an artist, and they're not like anything else I've made before. And they combine two of my favorite art forms, which are printmaking and epoxy artwork. So, like I said, I created each of these with certain emotions in mind and or images that really resonated with me as a person and I not only wanted to explore those images but I also wanted to explore a little bit of color theory and color opacity to really build these where each image can be seen fairly clearly but one is kind of the focal point over the other. So I also don't want to say what emotion I expect from each one or was trying to get because I want you as the audience to be able to look at them and create your own evaluations and evoke whatever emotion it is meant to pull out of you. I will definitely be exploring this idea a little more in my future pieces because I love it. So now that you guys have seen the show, I just kind of want to talk about where I get my concepts from, how I come up with those things. Um, so most of the time those images come to me late at night when I'm about to fall asleep. I have a note log in my phone where I put like a specific feeling that I'm feeling and kind of the images that go along with it. So a lot of the times it'll be like um, a certain emotion that I want to portray. Uh, and with that, I think of like three different images I could use that I could photograph myself. And I kind of list each of those and say, these are the shots that I want to get. So when I do a photo shoot, I have this list of multiple shots and images that I can use or I go find them. Um, in a form that I can use online and modify them um, to make them work. So a lot of the time it is, what's a good one to explain? One of them is like a self-identity. So how do I look at myself and how do I feel about myself and what images can I use to express that? So one of them you see, um, I use like an elegant kind of form and I also use this um, B 
beehive because I think the beehive kind of symbolizes the pieces of you and how it fits together to become whole and I use that a lot in my artwork and that is why I feel like every day you're constantly changing and new pieces of you are coming together and so with that I feel like you're kind of building your own hive which is you building yourself and your own self-identity so that's a good example of one of those pieces in there and how I came up with that image um, a lot of the time if I get artist block I like to just kind of try to relax and almost meditate into it I kind of just think about you know the original start of the artwork um, and just think about it and think about it and think about it and let that be the only thing that my mind really focuses on and just let my mind kind of flip through and explore almost like a slide start with something that lets the material speak for itself so a lot of the time it is fluid painting because fluid painting doesn't really let you control it you get to decide the colors but as far as the layout goes and so on and so forth a lot of the time it gets to decide itself which is kind of why I like to start with those things because then you have to respond to the artwork so I generally start with something like that or one simple image and then I do the slideshow effect and I kind of layer things on top of it as I look at that piece of artwork and really resonate with it and see what it's saying to me so a lot of the time it's the art deciding itself what it wants to look like instead of me trying to pick it apart and pre-plan so that's kind of how I like to work with things I generally, like I said, start a piece of artwork with the materials, then I go through the slideshow effect, and then I just finish it off with any touches that I think it needs uh, in the final piece. So that is kind of how I go about creating artwork. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me, and I look forward to meeting you guys. All right, I just want to say thank you to Downtown Grand Junction for doing this virtual First Friday, as well as all of the other First Fridays and events that they do for us artists. And thank you guys for being such a good community and supporting your local artists. You guys are the best and I am grateful to be where I'm at.